Hello everyone! I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today we are mixing peppermint and coffee. I'm going to share with you guys a very cozy peppermint mocha. And I'm going to use Nespresso Special Edition Peppermint Bin Wheel. They released this one for the holiday season. Not that you need this capsule to make this mocha. You can use the coffee of your choice. You can even do double espresso if you want. But to start off this video, I'm going to give you kind of like a quick review of this capsule. We're going to brew it to black and taste it. I'll let you know what I think of it. Uh, but if you're not here for the review, don't worry. I'm going to put right here on the screen the exact minute you need to fast forward to get to the recipe portion of this video. But before we get started, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Hit that thumbs up. And with all of that said, let's get into it. And here is a close-up shot of the pot so you guys can see it. It is all green and Christmassy. The fragrance is pepperminty, which is really nice. And we have very lovely crema. I'm going to actually mix it in. This always makes me sad, but I know you have to mix it to get all the lovely flavors. like all with Nespresso flavored coffee the peppermint is present here but it's kind of like a hint it's really not overwhelming not overpowering pepperminty you can taste it it's just like a sprinkle of peppermint it's very very delicious it is exactly what I was looking for if you like peppermint tea you're going to love this one uh, it gives in your mouth that like same freshness that you get after drinking peppermint tea but definitely not as uh, excessive but yeah it's not as strong but it's definitely very refreshing and I like it I think it's very nice for a change during the holidays uh, and I think it's going to bear very well with my peppermint mocha recipe that we're going to get started on right now all right guys so for our peppermint mocha all the ingredients with the exact measurement will be listed down below for you but let me give you just a quick rundown on everything we need i'm going to use some milk and i have my air chino here i'll be using to warm it up and froth it i'm also using peppermint syrup if you can't find that you can also use peppermint extract with a little bit of water and sugar and we need chocolate sauce your coffee and like I said I'm going to use my peppermint bin wheel you can also use any coffee you want and to garnish the top we need some whipped cream I have here some crushed candy cane and I'm also going to shave some chocolate now I'm going to start with adding a three tablespoon of my chocolate sauce to the bottom of my glass next I'm going to add three tablespoons of my peppermint syrup Now I'm going to put my glass over here and I'm going to brew my coffee right on top of my chocolate and peppermint syrup. The hot warm coffee is going to help melt everything down and mix it in much better. While that's happening, I'm going to froth my milk right now. So right now I'm going to mix my chocolate in with the coffee and the peppermint syrup. 
take your time to do this because this is your only chance to mix it in really good before we add the topping. Now I'm going to add my froth milk. Look how beautiful. It's like cream. Now I'm going to do my whipped cream. And I really like to garnish it with the crushed candy canes and my shaved chocolate. Oh my god, guys, this is so beautiful. Come closer. Okay, I'm sorry, I just can't stop drinking it. It is divine. It is very, very tasty and delicious. It is rich, creamy, minty. It is cozy it is everything you really want in a cup of coffee in a cozy cup of coffee this is very very delicious i think i like this one better than the starbucks one because it's not too sweet since i use my no sugar peppermint syrup i think that helped i can drink the whole cup and i'm good it's not too sweet so it's not gonna give you that you know sugar rush so i really like it i'm going to enjoy my drink and i'll let you guys go i hope you try out this recipe and if you do let me know how you like it in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye